Hello, I'm Kendra Von Esch of Shalom World, bringing you the news from around the globe. Asiya Bibi, the Pakistani Christian who was accused of fake blasphemy charges and later released to join her children in Canada, is now receiving death threats. A video that surfaced on the internet showed a person threatening to assassinate Asiya and that he was in Canada to murder her. Christians around the world, particularly in Asian and African continents, have been suffering greatly for upholding their faith. Christians are now being hunted down and persecuted with repeated attacks and terror strikes in churches in Sri Lanka and in Burkina Faso. Let's pray for God to touch the hearts of the world to live peacefully and to love our neighbor as ourself. A Senate committee in California will review the confession bill which mandates priests to report incidents of child abuse disclosed during the Sacrament of Reconciliation. If implemented, it will force religious men to break the seal of confession and would be a clear violation of religious liberty protections guaranteed by the Constitution. The sacrament of confession is sacred, and the seal of confession is not to be broken under any circumstance. The recent judicial amendment, if implemented, would destroy the sacredness of the sacrament. The Apex Court of Canada's Ontario province unanimously upheld a policy demanding doctors who are not willing to perform abortion or assisted suicide to refer patients to doctors who will perform the procedures. The new policy was introduced after some physicians said forcing them to do abortion, transgender surgery, or assisted suicide was a violation of religious freedom. Even when judicial amendments are made in different regions across the globe to stop abortion, it is a sad state of affairs that certain governments are creating other alternatives for abortion. The ongoing battle for the culture of life versus death continues. The organized move by social media to silence the all pro-life efforts has reached new heights. A picture of a baby in a womb was censored by Facebook. The picture was published by Iona Institute for Religion and Society as a part of their pro-life campaign after Ireland legalized abortion about a year ago. Facebook masked the image with a warning, this photo may be sensitive to some people. The pro-life members of the society questioned how the life-affirming image of an unborn child can be perceived as graphic or violent. The clampdown on pro-life issues by social media is not new, as we have seen with the recent pro-life movie Unplanned, which received its share of backlash. Pope Francis has cleared two miracles for canonization and another one for beatification among the eight miracles and heroic virtues that were put forward by the Congregation for the Cause of Saints. Among those authorized include five Italians, two Brazilians, and a Spaniard. Those recognized for canonization include Blessed Giuseppina Vanini, and foundress of the Daughters of St. Camillus, who died on February 23, 1911, and Brazilian sister, Blessed Dolce Lopez Pantes, of the Congregation of the Missionary Sisters of the Immaculate Conception of the Mother of God, who died on May 22, 1992. Let this be a reminder that we are all called to be saints. Let's pray for God to grace us with virtues to live a holy life. Thanks for watching and for your support. Let's stay in touch on social media, our app, and online at shalomworld.org. May you walk in the light of the Lord, and may peace be with you always.